I had somebody ask me about, you know, Dame clowning and how, you know, he be trying to say little under, like, low blows and this and that or whatever. But it goes back into what I've said before. And I'm going to say it again. It never, ever matters what someone thinks of you. Someone else's opinion does not have to become your reality, in the words of Les Brown. I just never been one of them dudes to really let someone else clown in or doing whatever get to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a barbershop dude. In the barbershop, that's what we do. We clown. Sometimes you get clowned. Sometimes you clown back. Sometimes you don't do nothing. You just laugh at it. That's, what, that's the approach I take with life. You know, I feel like you take a lot of stress off yourself when you stop trying to correct everybody. Stop trying to correct everybody. Stop trying to make people treat you a certain way. And continue to treat yourself a certain way. When people see that they can't get up under your skin or people can't get next to you and they be like, damn, you know, nothing, I'm, nothing I've tried is working. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this person mad. I'm trying to get this person angry. I'm trying to get this person to feel bad about themselves. When they see they can't do that, guess what? You won. And that's what life is all about. Stop tripping off everything around you and listen to everything within you. This is Kenyatta of Hip Hop Motivation. Thank you for listening. I hope this message helped you. Peace and blessings. Yo, this is Kenyatta with Hip Hop Motivation. First of all, I want to tell everybody out there, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to our YouTube page. And if you haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to our YouTube page, make sure you do so. Stay in tune. We have a lot more to come. Peace. Yo, you can either think of a master plan or get mastered by somebody else's plan. Check it. As a barber, one of the most important life lessons I learned is to never do anything without seeing the ending result first. Before I understood the value of seeing results, I used to waste a lot of time sometimes doing double work because I didn't have a vision of where I was going. Then I started taking consultations more serious by not even turning on my clippers until I had a clear understanding of the result my client was planning to see. And in turn, it became easier to achieve the style they wanted to see in half the time. Real talk, the most successful barbers and beauticians are the ones that see the ending results before they start any service. Write, Write this, this down. down. Write this before down. making any moves, know where you're going. Deciding from thoughts of being sick and tired of something, starting something, or admiring something can be the emotions that fuel change. Because write this down, emotion leads to passion, passion leads to action, and action leads to results. Word up. Question, what's the number one killer of dreams? If you said fear, you're wrong. Fear is on the list, but it's not the number one killer. The number one killer of dreams is comfort. The comfort of a good paying job or in an active relationship can seduce us for many years into the rhythm of accepting things without making any moves to change. Further numbing us into a state of zombie-like passiveness. Write this down. Passiveness will cause your dreams to pass you by. When you writing a book, Dave? I'm writing. I also have a book. You know, I have a um, <laughs> book called Culture Vultures. Yeah, I did, Wait, I it, did what's it. it called? It's called <laughs> Culture Vultures. I did. If you, have you ever looked at the hip hop motivations that I do? Yeah, absolutely. With, so, yeah. me and um, Kenyana did a book, and I've already, it's already written. He wrote it. We we done with it, and I'm also giving it out in different ways. So it's gonna be an auditory experience as well. It's a series. The fashion game. Culture Vultures, the book. Okay. In business, Dame is a guy that's worn many hats. 